Good morning guys and welcome to another outdoor activity. Now we're up here at Echo Reservoir and after drilling several holes I think I finally found the depth that I want to fish today. So right now I'm in uh, 48 feet of water and the reports have been anywhere from uh, 50 feet and deeper for the perch and the trout are suspended uh, higher in the water column now. So what I got is I have one pole I'm going to put right on the bottom and the next fishing pole I will uh, suspend and just uh, try out different depths and see if I can catch the trout. Anyways my friends, uh, stay tuned and uh, hopefully I chose the right spot and uh, let's see if we can catch some fish. Let's see what I got. Should be a perch. It's right on the bottom. Let's see if they got any size to them. Let's see. Oh, he's not a bad one. <laughs> uh, well, there's, cause there's, his air sac came out, so we'll be keeping these, even though he's kind of a tiny little guy, but. All right, Let's see if we can get some more. Right, there's another nice little perch right on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and get back down there again and see if we can get another one. Feels pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Come on, stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh yeah, he's not bad at all. That's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah. That's what I'm looking for. He's not bad at all. There we go. Several more of those. Awesome day. Right, there's another nice fat perch. Looks like they're getting a little bigger. Let me strip my bait on that one. It's a good hit. <laughs> Alright, let's get back down there. Alright guys, I just want to quickly give you a rundown of uh, what I'm using today. Now, I started off, oops, dropped it. I started off using a uh, Swedish pimple. This one's a silver, it has the, the white color on it, and I actually hooked into my first uh, perch using that. However, I switched over to what's called a nuclear ant, and I'm actually using a green and white one and they seem to be working a lot better I've hooked several fish and I've actually got several bites and misses using this little jig here so so once again I'm fishing right off the bottom I'm only about two turns up and what I've been doing is I'll let it sit for a minute or two and then if I don't you know get any action I'll give it a little jig or actually lower the bait back down to the bottom again and bring it back up to kind of give it some of that movement and that's when I'm getting the hits. So uh, let's continue fishing let's see how many more we can catch. Let's see what we got here. That definitely feels like a trout. Oh a nice fat perch. Wow he felt like a trout. Wow look at him. Nice fat perch. Man, he hit hard. Whew. I thought for sure that was a that was a trout. Alright okay, guys, there's another nice fat perch. Caught him off the that green paddle bug this time. Or excuse me, the green uh, nuclear ant. Not sure why I said paddle bug, but anyway. Nice. They're actually getting a little fatter the later in the afternoon. I don't know why, but that's good. Now ah, they're getting heavier. <laughs> nice. Look at him. 
Alrighty. There you go. Another nice. I think I'm getting hit on this other rod. Alright, let's get him off and get back down. It's like another, feels like another fat one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's nice. Look how fat that one is. <laughs> oh. Heck yeah. Look how fat he is. Nice birch. Healthy. Nice and healthy. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap up today's video. We did have some success up here at Ducko Reservoir. We managed to hook into several nice fat perch. Hey my friends, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you and your family have an amazing new year. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next after activity. Bye bye.